everybody, paws up, welcome back. We're gonna be having a lot of fun today. We're making dog toys. Let's get started. All right, well these are what we're gonna be making. We've got a bunch of different sizes here, so they're some neat, fun little tug toys with the dogs. They're just made out of fleece. Very simply, all you'll need is a really good scissor. I have my fabric scissors. These would probably work best, but you can use any scissor you have. And you need a little helper. <laughs> Obviously you need fleece. We got a couple different patterns here with some tight patterning and nice bright colors. And then I have one of those big paper clips. And that's, I'm just gonna attach that to the edge over here and I'll be braiding that. This way it'll help hold the one end for me. We already got this one started getting cut, but what I will do is show you this very simply, guys, those really inexpensive fleece blankets that they have at Walmart right now. Super, super inexpensive, and you can get a ton of toys out of that one piece. And then obviously you can just go in, into their fabric department and or any fabric department, any store, fabric store as well, and you get it that way. But these had some really fun patterns and colors, so we figured this would work. I'm just gonna take off this part here. I don't want that string in their toys. So we're just gonna cut that little bit off. And I'm going to show you here how we'll just use that as our main leading edge to get this strip started. And if you have a nice fabric scissor, it'll take all four of those layers of fleece really easily you'll be able to get that all cut off. Okay, the reason I like using the uh, fleece for a tug toy as opposed to the string, like you see those ones, the big long ropes, they can have um, some massive problems if they inject, like once they chew up that whole big rope and they start ingesting the strings. Let's just take one of these small ones as an example. So say that's been chewed and swallowed. The undulating motion of the intestine of moving the food through the digestive tract, it kind of gets stuck and it'll keep undulating it on it and it can kind of ball itself into a knot and get that string and then you've got a blockage. So that's why I personally don't like the, um, the rope ones. I prefer these because they can't chew and end off and as it Piece is a little bit bigger and it's easier to grab. I'm gonna go ahead and get some strips cut and then we'll show you how to get it all tied together. And what's neat about making your own also is you can totally gear it to the size of your dog. I, you know, as um, we've got three different sizes here and you can do everything and anything in between. <laughs> so see there's I made, I made a really little one. This would be great for like a Yorkie or a Maltese or you know some small little guy and this would be great, a fun one and you can make it as long or short as you'd like. This one did a little bit longer but with two knots kind of towards the middle and um, that's great for a nice medium sized dog and then we also have a bigger one. This is a great size for like barrel and all your medium to larger sized dogs and you can go even bigger. You know if you've got a big old Roddy or a big Great Dane, you know, by all means, and I'll show you how to make the different sizes there. So then on the end that has the loop there, because of the fold, you'll just take your scissor and go right through. And if I can get it in there, go right through. Again on these two, same thing. All right, see, just like that. And then it gives you your, your several pieces. Okay, now what I'll do is I will go ahead and I'm going to pick my pieces of fabric. I'm gonna do a big one right now. We're gonna do a big fatty and we're gonna do, see I've got three of them there. Let's make it a fourth one. Let's do one even bigger than that one over there. Okay, we are gonna do four. We've got four pieces there and then four pieces there. All right, so we're just gonna shift positions and um, We'll show you that in a second. All right, so obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit this whole big, huge thing underneath this clip. I've gone ahead and tied the first knot, and you just take all 12 of those pieces of fabric and tie it into a good tight knot, 
Grab one or two of those. You just want it to stabilize while you're making your braid. And I have one of these big fat ones because it kind of goes around my counter. You could also just simply use a piece of duct tape or something like that. Just something to secure it while you're braiding. Uh, one neat thing about the fleece is, see it's like nice and flat, but once you give it a tug, it kind of, it'll lengthen and it curls in on itself. So all those ends, the edges, kind of curl in, which is really nice, because then you're not chewing on the edge of a piece of fabric. All right, let's get these all stretched out. Just give them a good tug, trying to make sure you got all your ends together. And you just want to, you can do it however you want. I'm just going to kind of keep the colors together, the blues and then that fun multi-tie-dyed one. All right, so now they're all curled. This one's going to be an extra big beefy one. And that'll be for uh, your bigger dogs. Okay, so very simple braid. And if anybody that doesn't know how to braid, you don't want to learn from me. <laughs> I'll have a half under and half over. So you keep your three sections divided, and then each one is going to have the four pieces in it. All right, see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, you got them all separated. And then with your fingers, we're going to try, attempt to do it all overhand. So we're going to just cross it over into the middle. Okay, see, you create a middle. Then the same thing, create a middle. Bring it right on over. You always take from the outside and bring it in. For anyone that does not know how to braid, and you just kind of keep working your way through. You can kind of tighten it up a little bit if you want. Get up in there and just keep going. And you'll tie whatever knot you want, like in the middle or two of them if it's long and thin enough. You could do that. I've got my, the bulk of my braid there. I want to make sure I leave enough here to tie it. I can always try to, you know, maneuver it down a little bit to, more towards the end. But if you can't, that's fine. You can always either leave it really bushy or you can kind of cut it off. So it's more even on the ends. So we're just going to go ahead and make that knot, make this knot, and hopefully it cooperates nicely for us because I got a lot of material here. See, that one doesn't want to. You might need to stretch them out again at the end because you're going to have your wider ends there. Like I said before, the fleece will lengthen for you as you stretch it. If you're finding that your, your ends are loose, just get them stretched out again and maybe you need to work your way a little further up onto the braid. So you're not pulling apart your actual braid. Make sure you give a good tight tug. There you go. You got your big one. Okay, so now what we can do here is, I kind of like them where they're a little more uniform. That's totally up to you however you choose to do it. And I'm just going to kind of cut these ones to make them a little more uniform on this end. You can discard those. Don't let your dogs just chew on the loose fabric because we don't want any kind of digestional track blockages. And then this one you can totally just leave it like this. Or if you think your baby might like a knot in the middle, give it a little more integrity to the piece. And then he's got two spots right there on each side. He can grab a hold and tug or on the ends, whichever. You know, some dogs like just grabbing the knot. So then that's kind of how you would do that one. So we made one really big one, and then I made these ahead of time, these other two, like I showed you before. Size opportunities are endless here. Little all the way up to big. And you can have as much fun as you want decorating these and choosing your fabrics, and you can make them geared for special holidays and whatever else. And seriously, if you went and bought that big huge one in the store, you'd probably, whoops, you'd probably be spending about 10, 15 bucks. And look, we made it here for that, just with that little bit of material, since the whole blankets were only 250. I bet you we spent less than 50 cents making that toy. There you go. So I hope you guys get a chance to, you know, make these for your babies and enjoy them. And lots of fun. Hey, Beryl, do you want to play with a toy? Take <gasps> tug, tug, tug. Give me that toy. Okay, you take that toy. Well, I'm glad he likes them. <laughs> we'll have to make more for him. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Appreciate you. Love y'all. Thank you so much. Pause up. So, enjoy!